Hello guys, in this video I want to prove freshman dream. And what is freshman dream? If you're given a prime number, I want to show that x plus p to the power x plus y to the power of p is congruent to x to the power of p plus y to the power of p mod p. So this inequality holds in congruence relation. And this is true for any integers x and y. Uh, and how I'm going to operate this problem? I'm going to use the formula binomial Newton. So I'll have x plus y to the power of p. It equals to um, x to the power of p plus p choose 1, uh, x to the p minus 1 times y plus uh, p choose 2, x to the power of p minus 2 times y square plus uh, plus uh, p choose p minus 1 uh, x and y to the power of p minus 1 and the last term is y to the power of p and you can see what I want to show I want to show that this whole thing is going to be congruent to x to the p plus y to the p or in other words I want to show that each of this term is going to be divisible by p. So everything between x to the power of p and y to the power of p is going to be divisible by p. And how I'm going to show this? Uh, let's take some term in the middle. So let's take p choose i. And for p choose i, I'm assuming that my uh, i is going to be between uh, 1 and p minus 1. So this is boundaries for i. It's, you can see this based on this picture. And then what I know about p choose i? I know it's going to be equal uh, p factorial over i factorial uh, times p minus i factorial. Okay, and what I have, let's just uh, write this down as equal p times, uh, on, a on the top we'll have p minus 1 factorial uh, over 1 over i factorial times p minus i factorial. Okay, and this is binomial coefficient. And this is binomial coefficient when i changes from 1 to p minus 1. And what do we know about binomial coefficient? That we know this binomial coefficient, uh, let's kind of generalize, there are uh, integers. Or you know like, okay, now let's, let's to be moved. Let's be more specific, let's say there are natural numbers. Well, because it's, uh, you remember like Pascal trying 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, etc. So we know this must be positive integer. Uh, and what we want to show, we want to show that any factor on the bottom, so any factor from this, is not going to divide our p. And this is true. And why is this is true? Because we know that our i factorial, we have factors only 1 times 2 times 3 times da 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 times i. And for p minus i factorial, we have factors 1 times 2 times 3 times da 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 times p minus i. Uh, either for i factorial or p minus i factorial, each of these uh, factors, you can see, uh, for each of these factors, they're going to be less than my prime number p. So it means any of this factor cannot divide this p. So any of these factors, they must divide p minus 1 factorial. So what I will get, I will get that this whole thing must be equal p times i equal p times, let's say, ki. And where this one belongs to natural numbers. So I showed that since neither of these uh, factors are going to divide p, then uh, each p choose i must be factor of p. And from here, we're going to follow that each of this one is going to be divisible by p. So when we're going to take x plus y p, it's actually going to be congruent to x to the power of p plus y to the power of p. And here we'll put mod p. And we are done.